Well, all right, so you're seeing good things. I am, because all the planets are in Libra. The sun today especially, um, the sun, the moon, Mercury and Venus, which are the four personal planets, uh -huh. all in Libra, which is great because Mars is in Leo, two signs away. So instead of all the stress we had over the last six weeks, the energies for everyone flows a lot smoother. So I thought I'd go through all 12 signs and Give us they good can news. see what... Yes, I'm all about it because otherwise you throw tomatoes at me. For Libras, it's about the Libra. It is about the Libra getting what they want. It's about the Libra exerting um, their opinion. It's about the Libra taking action. Finally make, because Libras have a terrible time making a decision, finally making whatever decision they need to make so they can get their needs met. They always consider their partners, but not so much over the next four weeks or so. It's going to be more about the Libra getting what they want. Yeah, me, me, me. That's the and Daffy Andrew, Ducks. Andrew, yes, Andrew. yes. They are going to be the Daffy Ducks of the Zodiac this year um, for this month. For Scorpios, not so much. Scorpios are taking a step back because this is the end of their solar year and they are literally going over the last year, finishing up old projects because there is no energy for the Scorpio to start new ones next. So their best bet is to very quietly go through their life, um, look at the things that they, they lost last year, see if they need to stay lost and, and just finish up old projects rather than starting new ones. Sagittarians, good place for Sagittarius to be. Mm. It's about a group effort pays off, a team effort pays off for the Sagittarian and they get very, very close to achieving a hope, wish, goal or objective that has eluded them ah. for the last 10 months or so. It's like it's, it's waited for all of the pieces to come together. Mm. And they come together over the next four weeks or so. Capricorns, career decisions. The Capricorns are having a terrible time because they have a couple of opportunities. They're not sure which is the right one. About all Capricorns really know is what they don't want to do. Um, but over the next three weeks or so, they finally weigh it out and, and make the move professionally to get them to where they want to be. Um, and they get a, fa a fairly favorable review. For Aquarians, the law is on their side, and, and important matters go their way, which is, I think, fabulous for uh, for um, Joe Madden and, and the Devil and the Rays, because he's an Aquarian, things are going their way, the law is on his side, he can use it, and they put on a really good show. Ooh, so send the stars. Let's I go Rays. know, go I'm Rays. praying for that. Um, for Pisces, it's actually good news for them, too, because the money gods smile on them. All of those planets are in the eighth house of other people's resources flowing their way. And so Pisces benefit from other people's resources. And if they were ever looking for a loan or trying to refinance something, that occurs over the next four weeks or so. For Aries, it's in their seventh house of partners, and Aries really need to compromise. Aries are not big fans of compromise because they, they like to ram their opinions down other people's throats. And Aries are going to find that their partners and, and the people that they have have to deal with their opposites are not going to budge and the Aries is going to have to compromise a little bit and if they do peace can reign in their homes and in their lives. For Tauruses, God, nothing but hard work awaits them. Mm -hmm. And literally, Tauruses are going to lurch from one project to the next project to the next project without any kind of segue. And to all my Taurus friends, I say, surely you can find a couple of Indians <laughs> to help you out with that particular process because they're trying to balance so many different things because they got a lot on their plate. Yeah, with that, it's Christmas wish. Uh, yeah, but there's something else too. You know, there's another additional thing oh, to go other along things, with. Yes. Yeah, the that's what I'm saying. She's working on. Yes, yeah, so I say find some Indians if you're um, a Taurus. For Gemini's, this is their favorite time of year to play. The weather gets a little cooler. They, it's the perfect time for Gemini's to fall in love with someone or something. Family matters go well. Children matters go well. This over the next four weeks is their favorite time of year to play. So. And, and, and they should. For Cancers, it's in their fourth house of home. Lots of soul searching going on for Cancers. They've had a really rough six weeks, um, and now that they and they felt that they were attacked on all sides. And now Cancers really want to retreat into their shell um, and try and lick their wounds and heal a little bit. Um, and so again, I'm going to tell Cancers there's some kind of compromise they need to make at home, and they need to articulate what it is that they want. People just won't know. Leos, what a great time for Leos. Mars is in their sign, so they're fired up. Um, the pace of their day-to-day -day living picks up, but not to something they can't deal with. It, it, it takes it in stride for them. And for the Leo, lucky them, one thing segues into another. Ooh, so really if good. they have to be someplace, and the place they have to be after that is not at the other end of the planet, it's adjacent to where they are. So the pace of their day-to-day -day living is really very cool for Leos. They, they don't lurch from thing to thing in contracts and negotiations. Um, they can give a little and get a lot. And then for Virgos, the last sign, it's all about the money. Virgos get an opportunity to make money through a team effort, through a group effort, rather than a solo 
kind of a thing. Virgos do very, very well financially, and money almost, I don't want to say falls out of the sky because it's not unearned income, but they get paid for the work that they have done. So you got to like that in a group. So all in all, the next three weeks, you know, it'll bring some cool weather. It'll bring some ease in, in the stresses that have gone on for the last six weeks. So tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac. Go raise, Ooh. go bucks. Oh, yeah. Sounded like good news to me. Thank yes, you, my dear. Sir. Yes, sir. See you next week. Always a pleasure.